Hi, and welcome to another episode of Allen ISD Q&A. Today, I am joined by the coordinator of nursing for Allen ISD, Vicki Bear. How are you doing today, Vicki? Hi, David. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us via video chat. So mm -hmm. today we're going to talk about COVID-19 and some health updates. Um, we've all heard a lot of ways that we can stay safe, but also the news has changed a bit in the past few days and weeks. And so hopefully you can help provide the community with a little bit of up-to-date information. So when COVID-19 first hit, there were recommendations that maybe wearing a mask wasn't necessary, but now I'm hearing a lot of talk about the importance of wearing a mask. So Vicki, do you mind explaining kind of why we had that change in philosophy and maybe what wearing a mask can do for our safety? Yeah, absolutely, David. Um, the CDC is now recommending cloth, cloth face coverings um, when you're out in the community, okay? It's sort of an added layer of protection in our battle against COVID. So what the strategy is, is they say everybody in the community has COVID, okay? Even though we know that's not true. But that's what, that's what the mass strategy is. You say everybody has it and we don't want to transmit it to our neighbors and friends out there. So if you cover your face and your, no your mouth and your nose, you can protect others from you having the disease. So when you breathe out, if you have any COVID, it goes into your mask, okay? Um, and doesn't go into the community. So you're not infecting your friends and your neighbors and stuff. Now this does not take the place to social distancing. You still have to social distance. And um, we can talk more about that a little later. But um, the masks are different types. The cloth mask is like this. This is one, one type and there's many types and not one is better than the other. What you do need is layers of protection. And a lot of times people will put in a filter like a, a paper towel or a coffee filter inside. And then at the end of the day, they'll throw that out and wash their mask and reuse it. Um, you don't have to wear mask at home. It's out in the community, okay? And so you wanna protect others from you. Okay. Um, we don't want to use the PPE for healthcare providers, um, which is your N95s and your surgical masks. They belong in the hospital and that's where they do their best job. Plus, we don't want to take them from the workers that need them so, so much. Okay, so Vicki, just to clarify there, it sounds like the mask is more about, you know, acting like you have it to protect everybody else, but it's not so much about you know, wearing a mask is going to protect you personally out in the community. Is that is that kind of a That's right true. way? Is if you cough or sneeze into your mask, you're not spreading those droplets out into the community. Um, we also, I do have a pattern for masks. There's a link on the health services website for Allen ISD that talks about all the questions the CDC has put out there on face coverings and how to make your own too. So anybody at two and under should not wear a face mask or anyone that um, cannot take it off themselves if they're incapacitated, okay? Okay, that's a, that's a good tip. So we will be sure that um, we add those updated guidelines on Allen ISD's webpage under the, uh, it's allenisd.org slash health updates. That's actually a perfect segue because I, I did want to talk about social distancing and I know that we've heard a lot about um, the importance of social distancing but I guess I want to ask you, you know, are we practicing it in the correct way? For example, if I see my, my neighbors out in their yard, should I be talking to them? And if I'm out for a walk in the community, how far out of my way should I go to avoid other people? Can you just kind of give me some kind of common sense tips on social distancing? Okay. Um, we should probably always stay six feet away and that's a minimum. Okay. So we don't want to get any closer than six feet. If we can do eight feet, that's even better. Okay, so if you want to talk to your neighbor in the yard, absolutely talk to them, but talk from a distance, all right? Um, they can stand at the fence and you can go stand in the middle of your yard or yell from the back porch or, you know, we want to be friendly. We are social creatures and we want to talk to people and be around them. So, of course, you can interact, but do it from a safe distance. So, here at my house, I've been washing my hands quite a bit. I've been using plenty of hand sanitizer, but I also noticed that I've got different kinds and different brands of, of soap and hand sanitizer. So basically, are all of these products protecting me in the same way or are some better than others? Can you kind of talk a little bit to that? Um, well, hand washing and hand sanitizers are both recommended by the CDC and will help you know prevent you from getting COVID. Um, if you're hand washing, I'm sure you've seen videos before and heard people talk about it. You want to use soap and you want to lather up and you want to scrub all areas this way, the side, the back, the nails, 
all the air is your hands for 20 seconds, then let the water run out and dry your hands real well. Hand sanitizer, you want to rub it until it's dry, and really it's about 20 seconds, so the same, same amount of time. Any hand sanitizers, you want to have at least 70% of uh, um, alcohol content, the isopropyl alcohol, and um, you want to just keep rubbing in. Both are effective against COVID, um, and you can double them up. You know, you have hand sanitizer, and you don't have soap and water right now, but when you get home, immediately you wash your hands with soap and water before you go around the house. You know? Any disinfectant wipe, you bring groceries in from the store, and you want to wipe down your things before you put them away, any of your disinfect disinfectant wipes will work. Great, so that, that's actually part of the next question too that I had was, um, you know, we're all staying home and doing what we can to stay safe, but we do still have to go out into the world sometimes, whether it's to, to go get groceries or maybe we're getting some takeout food. Um, so when we're bringing those outside items into our house, what can we do to make sure that we're best protecting ourselves and our families? Okay. Um, bring them in from the store, um, set them on the counter. Um, you can put a clean side of the counter and a dirty side of the counter. So when you bring them in, put them on the dirty side of the counter, okay? Get your um, disinfectant wipe, but make sure it's disinfectant. You don't want to use a baby wipe. That's not going to um, kill any germs that are out there. So a disinfectant wipe, then you wipe down your groceries, put it on the clean side. And once you're done, you throw your wipe away. Go wash your hands, because if you go pick up the clean side stuff before you wash your hands, you've contaminated again. So go wash your hands, then go ahead and put your groceries away. Um, remember, when you're at the grocery store, you want to social distance too. You don't want to be walking close to people, um, your carts, cart to cart or next to them. Stand back. If you're comfortable at a comfortable height, to talk, a comfortable length to talk to people, you want to take two steps back because it should be a social distancing that's a little bit uncomfortable for you. Perfect, Vicki, those are all really helpful tips. Um, I know we're all doing what we can just to, to stay safe and, and keep our, our family safe. And so I really appreciate you coming on here today and uh, providing us with these extra tips. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, everybody stay safe out there and we will see you soon. Bye now.